<coughs> Welcome back to Chinstrap Traps. You see, keep going this. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because it's creepy looking. <laughs> looks so evil. I mean, if you get him, you get him like this. It looks like a engineer from Prometheus. Oh yeah, except we're not human and bald. And stupid. Stupid. <laughs> They shouldn't have made that in armor. They should have just made them look like that. Oh, you mean the helmet? Yeah. Yeah. Would have been cooler. Shut yeah, because they're basically just one big bald dude. That's all they are. It's like, oh, so are the creators of the human race look human. Boring. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, man, fuck. <laughs> they actually did kind of sound like you said that in a way. I'll just play that back. Unless, I, unless I'm hearing shit, I don't know. Yeah, no, I mean, it... How did it sound like you just said, fuck? <laughs> That's why I said it, but, you know, who knows? <coughs> Maybe we're both hearing the same shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wonder, like, like what's the reaction going to be when we finish this game? Are we going to be like, hey, now we can't talk about porn anymore? So, yeah, okay. <laughs> That'll be the, that'll be the reaction is <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> poor, 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 poor. This is chin stab taps two porno oh, after all. We're, we talk Whoa. nothing about Whoa. nothing about. Well, I don't know like I, words are hard for me today. Would that be like a legit? I mean, I wonder if that would actually get more viewership <laughs> on YouTube if we. Uh, it would be new. It'd be different. Let's play. I mean, how let's many... players that just talk about porn and nothing else. Yeah, I mean, how many other uh, let's players have you seen just strictly talk about porn? Mm. Oh, unless it was a porn game, which I don't think any do, because it's YouTube. Brutalmus, Brutalmus does. He's like now becoming known as the guy who plays all the porn games. He did a couple. He did two or three porn games, I think. Oh. He's my favorite. Who, oh, Brutal Moose? Lawrence! You want some, you want some chips? <laughs> no. Nah, really, you actually paying attention to this? I, I, I like uh, anything that's got in a fairy. He's a nice guy. Even though pretty much every other cutscene with him we've talked over. Motherfucker! Damn! And that's where he becomes the best. <coughs> His impersonality. Yep. A lot of people don't like scars. Scars are sexy. <laughs> scars are hot. Except, <coughs> except sometimes. Yeah. Such a wonderful sense of humor. And you're so, so... Robotic. Her chin is like bigger than her forehead. So does that like memory just become implanted in his head now? Hmm? Oh yeah, probably. I really would like to see how earth-shatteringly destructive time-altering would be in real life. Oh, just terrible. I mean, if you believe in the butterfly. Yeah. Except, unless you went back and, like, killed Hitler or something. <laughs> then I think I think it'd be a lot better. Maybe. But then, you know, someone else might just take his place. Well, kill him, just too. just be a different name. <laughs> kill him, too. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, someone else. It might be... There might be fixed points, you know. I don't know. That'd be weird. And we'll never know how, it's, how it would work. That video is clearly not in 60 frames. <laughs> yeah, that one isn't. Yeah. <laughs> You'd figure they, they'd get to, like... <laughs> it reminds me of Cody. 4K. Dennis, Dennis helped build my computer, and now I can run <laughs> Pong at over 9,000 frames per second. <laughs> I'm afraid he, 
I think he said that on a Facebook post or something a long time ago. <laughs> why, why would you ever need to play Pong on 9,000 frames per second? <laughs> Could you imagine how smooth that would look? It would look about as smooth as 60 frames per second. <laughs> yeah, because we, we could perceive it. <laughs> Um, that's a, that's a smooth game though, man. Yeah. I mean, like, you gotta be you'd quick. never you have gotta be to, quick at sixty FPS pong, man. You'd never have the the thing of I couldn't do beat because there was lag. Yeah, no input lag, nothing. It's just fucking nine thousand frames per second of pure pong, man. I mean, I like <laughs> pong, but I also like uh, playing. Um, I also like good s- games. Soccer. <laughs> I like to play hockey. I like to play. Cause they're all the same. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I like pong, but I also like good games. So fuck pong. It's kind of. While Rachel was learning about Doctor Nefarious, stumbled upon Well, Lord Marsalon went to the cat store. <laughs> oh, <laughs> who is this girl? She's got. A, she's probably got like one of those like classic like eighties retainers. The like the pink, and then they got the yeah, yeah, right, and like the like the bar over it. You know? The what? Oh, it's like you know, it's like that. Like you know, the, the retainers nowadays don't have it as much. At least like you get those like invisible like retainers, but it's like you know, like it, it would kind of have like it's almost like a brace across the front of your teeth. Oh, what are what are retainers even for? Oh, they keep your teeth in place after you get your braces off, because otherwise they're going to go back to the, you know, they're going to... Oh, okay. That's what the... They go back to being shitty? Yeah, pretty much. That's what... So couldn't you just wear a retainer? Uh, no, because it doesn't... I don't think they have as much tension as braces do. Mm. It's like braces, it's like they have like a metal bar that goes across your entire teeth, like your entire row of teeth. They keep them lodged in this one way. <clears throat> yeah, well, it keeps, like, gradually pulling it in one direction. And that's, you know, that's why it hurts like a bitch. And that's why it takes forever. For, that's why some people wear them for years. years and some yeah, people don't. I mean, it's a very gradual change. It's, you know, obviously, like, it would be. But a retainer, yeah, you wear a retainer just because it's, like, otherwise, like, they, they're, you know, I think your teeth would have a tendency to go back to the way that they were before over time. So you've got to wear a retainer for a little while. Until they're basically stop growing and right. I'm pretty sure we're already past that point in our age. Yeah, but I mean, it would it would be uh, you know plus if you get your wisdom teeth taken out and shit like that too. Yeah, I need to get my wisdom teeth taken out. I got two sets Ugh. on my bottom, one set <laughs> on my top. I only had three wisdom teeth, so I was kind of unlucky. I got two on one side, two on the other, and then I have two on the top, one on each side. Damn. Yeah, that's gonna... I don't know. Yeah, it's better to get them taken out, because, uh... Yeah, you're gonna get some pain problems in the oh, future. Oh, yeah. I've had a couple. Sometimes uh, it likes to swell my face up on one side, because it keeps on growing out. Yeah. It's not fully out. It's only like a quarter out, but I can feel most of it. And it's just a pain. Well, whenever you do get them taken out, be smart and don't go to work the next day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, because that's what Mitch did. And his his was funny because he I, I think I saw him at work the day after he got it done. And then he asked me, he's like, hey, when you got your wisdom teeth taken out, did you have, like, fluid, like, coming out of your mouth? You know, and I'm like, no. Because I didn't go to work the next day. And so I think he tore his stitches open or something. Yeah, and probably. Was, and he was leaking something in his mouth, which is It was icky. probably some, uh, plasma. It was, like, I don't know what it was, but it was, like, a, I think it was, like, a clear fluid. Yeah, plasma. Um, it was, like, some kind of, uh, icky goo. So don't 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 uh, don't do that. And they give you these little like syringe things to help clean out the holes left in your mouth, <laughs> like after you're done eating. Good thing I only chew with my front teeth. <laughs> Good thing I only mash my food down into a bowl first, and then I eat it <laughs> through a needle. <laughs> <laughs> 
I suck everything through a straw. <laughs> so right now, I'm absorbing the chemicals through the cup into my hand. <laughs> that's how John Pertucci plays. That's how he keeps his uh, guitar playing hands in order. Is he he absorbs uh, chemicals through in, through cups into his hands? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll believe him. <laughs> he said it in an interview <clears throat> once. Well, that means it must be true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, it can only be true <laughs> as long as you say it in an interview. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen those before. Uh, I think they're called psycho exercises. And it's basically John Petrucci just saying how fucking amazing he is at guitar. <laughs> And it's not actually him, it's somebody dubbing it over, obviously, <laughs> but it's funny because he's like, like you know Yingve Malmstein, obviously. Yeah. He's like, he's talking, he's like, he's like, oh, here, I got this recipe book from some guitar noob named uh, Yingve Malmstein. Uh, and <laughs> he's talking about, like, all these different recipes. He's like, yeah, here's, I got some uh, different, bunch of different recipes for cheesecakes. Uh, <laughs> and, like,. I think he said his guitar tech was Yingve Malmstein, and it's some like fat dude. It does it doesn't even look like Yingve Malmstein at all. <laughs> Yingve does look. He is got. A he is a fat. Down he, some he is he is a pretty. He's a larger guy now, but he's not. Like, it's he's totally, like the other dude is like bald. <laughs> the, like kind of like uh, the guy from uh, yeah, yeah, Tenacious D. Kyle Gass. Yeah, Kyle Gass. Yeah, kind of. He kind of he, he looks like him actually. Yeah. Like guitar tech dude, kind of. I think I don't know, whatever. But, anyway. but then, but yeah, but I just liked it because he's like, so I've got to get these chemicals so they repair they repair my muscles because I go into <laughs> what did he call it? He called it world domination mode. <laughs> so he's like, he can, where he can play over nine thousand notes a second or something. <laughs> so he's got oh, to, yeah. he's got to repair his muscles so he absorbs these chemicals through the styrofoam cup. Because so, the footage is, like, actually of John Petrucci, like, behind the scenes, you know, like, talking about his gear and shit. Mm -hmm. And, like, if they look at his guitars, he's got, like, a bunch of guitars, like, on this rack, and there's, like, these, like, lights that go on. And he's like, yeah, so this is the incubation light to keep my, <laughs> my guitars in good shape. <laughs> so he's going to incubate his guitars. Keeps them uh, moist so the, <laughs> so the wood finish doesn't get... Yeah. Doesn't bend. <laughs> he talks about his guitar sometimes. He's like, so when I flip the switch, the two center coils become active, <laughs> and I can go into world domination mode where I kill people. <laughs> That's I have to show you because there's I haven't seen him in a while, but they're so funny because of the fact that it, like he talks about murdering people. <laughs> with, and there's actually one video where he does it. Like the guy puts up like a montage of him like. He speeds up the footage of, like, this exercise that he's doing, and then it shows, like, building exploding and, like, people's heads exploding and shit. <laughs> it's damn funny, man. It kind of reminds me of uh, Ringo Remembers. <laughs> What's that? Uh, they got a guy who uh, kind of looks like Ringo Starr, and uh, <laughs> he sits there and he goes and plays, you know, one of those, like, VH1s. Behind the music, it's him sitting in a director's chair kind of thing. Right. And, uh... It plays, uh... It's basically, he's like, Oh, I remember back in the day, blah, 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 blah. And it goes, and they do little tiny sketches. And uh, one of them is Paul McCartney's Christmas song. Mm -hmm. Uh... I can't remember how it goes, but uh, the the way it goes in this one, it's like, let's all have a sexual Christmas night. <laughs> and he's like, and I couldn't stand for that, so I called the cops on him, and he never made a Christmas song again. <laughs> and one of them is. Uh, he was there to play the drums for um, Imagine. There is no drums in Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it, he's like, uh, the, I, I had to get John to change the lyrics because the lyrics he was saying were just, oh, it was awful. And it's like, I'm the best one out of the Beatles and stuff <laughs> like that. 
I just like how you say he's there to play drums on Imagine, and there's no drums on that fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> like I can imagine, like on the credits for like that album, it just says drums. I imagine by Ringo Starr, <laughs> and then everybody's like, well, "There's no drums on that fucking song." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All of a sudden, time. So look up whatever you're looking up. <laughs> yep. Oh, there's uh, Ringo remembers Goldfinger. <laughs> he was uh, he was asked to do. As a, he's like, yeah, I was asked to do uh, Goldfinger's um, intro, and it goes in. And actually, <laughs> he does a he does a Goldfinger version, but he's like, it took me fifteen years to do it. <laughs> I just like your phantom life. <laughs> Sorry, that's a visual joke for everybody. It's funny. like, it took me 15 years to make it, so they, of course they went with someone else. <laughs> 15 years. I'll have to show you, they're all really quick. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, well next time on Chin Strap Traps, we're probably not going to be at this part. No. Um, we'll be talking about something completely different. Continuity issues, but yeah. whatever. You know, uh... Coriolis effect and solar winds. <laughs>